Okay, in this video, I'm going to be hopefully rejuvenating this old Optiplex 360 computer with about uh, $40 of eBay parts. We have 4 gigs of DDR2 memory. Uh, maybe do this one first. A Xeon E5450 CPU. It was about $23. And then a sticker to convert it to the electrical pinouts used by Core 2 Duo machines such as this one. This machine has a 2.4 gigahertz 2 meg cache really inadequate Core 2 Duo and we're going to be putting a quad 3 gigahertz 12 meg cache Xeon in it. Uh, assuming it works. So here we go. Okay I've got it open and I went ahead and undid the screws holding this uh, enclosure down. So we just go like this one hand here. This is a BTX motherboard, a Dell BTX motherboard, so you can't upgrade it. I really wish this uh, form factor had taken off because it's just brilliant. CPU is always in the exact same place, so the case can have an integrated cooler. I mean, look at this thing, it's enormous. And it's cooled by one, I think it's a 120 millimeter, really beefy fan. So, we just need to pop this CPU out, set it aside, and uh, the next step is interesting. So according to the videos, you have to shave off with a razor these two little uh, guide pins here on the side. So here are the two CPUs side by side, and you can see what I mean about needing to remove some of the plastic on the socket. The original CPU, the Core 2 Duo, there with the focus there, has the uh, notches on the side where the Xeons have them on the top. And the pin 1 is in the same place uh, indicated by the arrow in the lower left. So I need to shave off the extra plastic so that it'll fit. Okay, so I went ahead and cut the extra tabs off. And I'm doing a trial fit here, and it seems to fit in there just fine. Uh, of course, I need to do that sticker to reverse the, the two pins electrically so that this will actually work. But it looks like it fits just fine, so I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, we've got the sticker on there. Uh, if I were an X-Men, my superpower would be nearsightedness. This is probably the first time that's ever actually come in handy. Okay, it is installed, stickers on. I have put a uh, dab of Arctic Silver on there, so I'm going to replace the uh, heat sink and fire it up and see what happens. I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens. Oh, I forgot to turn my, uh, plug my hard drive back in. That's fine. Go to the BIOS and processor info. Ha <laughs> ha A 3 gigahertz Xeon E5450, 12 megs of cache, quad core. <laughs> That's awesome for less than $30 with the CPU and stickers. And I've got uh, 4 gigs of RAM to stick in here too, so that will be pretty darn good. Okay, I have my 40 gig Intel SSD hooked back up and I went ahead and put the swapped out the 2 gigs for 4 gigs. It's kind of hilarious, but this machine maxes out at 4 gigs of RAM despite having a quad core 3 gigahertz Xeon in it now. But let's see uh, how she boots up. So start your clocks. Oh, <laughs> of course, Windows updates. Well, it was pretty good anyway.